obviously this isn't a character that we know like Iron Man or Captain America or whatever, but it's a character that has so much resonance and there's a family dynamic and representation. For you guys, what was the most important thing to bring this to the screen? I think exactly what you said, the, the family dynamics from the comics was the one thing that we really keyed into and wanted to bring to life in, in the best way. And that was the thing that Destin really clued into as director and really understood emotionally um, as kind of the foundation of Shang-Chi. And that sort of became the genesis of all of the character work in the movie, the broken family at the center and how they come back together in their own ways. Yeah, I, do, I mean, you guys have a great uh, track record of bringing these kind of directors who have been independent directors or have had to kind of really struggle to get their movies made. What made Daniel perfect for this particular role? Um, Destin came in with a great emotional pitch and really understood that emotional hook of the father son conflict and then beyond that he really dug in deep with the characters and wanted to do a big fun Marvel movie and understood comedy and understood action he came and I think in his first pitch and said what if there was a cool fight on like a bus um, which became the bus, bus sequence of the movie but the genesis of that idea was exciting enough that we were like this he wants to make he wants to make a Marvel movie and he wants to make not just the big action not just the big scope but but he was very understanding of the characters that were going to make a shot yeah I wanted to ask you about uh, Simu in the lead there's obviously a lot of talk about him tweeting you and that was kind of how the genesis how, how kind of true is that or was he on your radar before he tweeted you we we were not really aware of that tweet when he was going through the casting process um, it's a very fun uh, thing to go back and look at um, but the truth is the thing that won him the spot is his performance and his auditions and his uh, presence. Yeah, yeah. I just finally, as a question, uh, final question. Spider-Man trailers come out. It's had this enormous view. I think 335 million views, which is just enormous. How encouraging is it for you guys that, given what's happened in the last year, that people are still hungry for the Marvel movies and still want to go to the cinema to see these big screen adaptations? Uh, it, it's great to see. I mean, we we love interest in the genre. We love interest in these movies. It feels like the audience is there for it. And you know, I treasure the theatrical experience. I I, I, I love to share it with people and share it with things that I'm lucky enough to be able to work on. Um, I just want people to go see movies. I think it's I think it's fun. But you know, it, it's a it's a different world out there, but see these movies any way you can. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for your time. Of course, thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey You Guys.